Hey there guys, my name is Rotor. Hope your day is going well. Uh, hope everything's working out here because I haven't had a chance to test any audio or move the camera. Uh, as should be apparent. Um, so hopefully all this works out. Regardless, welcome to Lenny Boog. I'm probably mispronouncing that. From what I've seen, the game looks fairly Russian, uh, perhaps, so I could be pronouncing that wrong. I don't know. Uh, if I am, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But I'm just going to pronounce it Lenny Boog. Uh, everyone keeps referring to this creature as a wolf. It looks more fox-like to me. Steam randomly recommended me this game. Looks kind of Five Nights at Freddy-ish. Uh, kind of looks like Foxy, at least in the attack animation I've seen in the trailer. So... Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is just around the corner, especially from the time this video is going out. So, let's check this game out, shall we? Oh, are we in? All right, what's up? What do we got here? Oh, I cannot read that. Inspect the office? Hmm? Oh, the door. Okay, I can't, the flashlight is a little too bright in the center. It's hard to tell what's going on. Nope, no going that way. Security camera. What am I supposed to be doing, exactly? I also keep moving around a little bit. My feet hurt. I don't have shoes at the moment. So my feet hurt a little bit, so if I'm moving around a lot, that's, that's why. What am I supposed to do? Noise source. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Um. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I, yeah. Uh, M5 by 88. My microphone's down here. <laughs> so I don't think that was picking me up very well. Okay. Why wasn't it capturing? No! Oh my god, no! No! Oh, well, it's fine. You guys haven't missed anything. Turn you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I walk around too much. I'm sorry. I said hold E. <laughs> oh! I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Hey! Oh! Hey, hello. How did you get over there? Hi. No! Why? 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 
What? Why? No, I skipped the level. No! You ain't gonna get me this time, foxy boy. Not this time. Oh! He's supposed to be like a werewolf. Same one. Okay. Easy. Super easy. I'm still a bit of a jumpy bitch, so even though the jump scare ain't that scary after a certain point, I'm probably still gonna jump. I am a jumpy bitch by nature. No. Hey, pal. I hope you're doing well. <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, so he's got skins. I don't know what they are. Uh, they're like some anime wolf character, I think. And I, I don't get into anime. You know, even with these things behind me, I, I don't care. Not my thing. Not my taste. Not my prefer. I'm going at this again for you guys. I need that willpower. Send it on over. Hey, buddy. You just hanging on the side of my house there? I think this is my house. Really weird house. Volume up another notch. There's like no sound. Other than that. And that. Hey, pal. Go away. So I'm thinking, and I have no way of proving this yet, but I think after we hit 200 and keep going down to like 199, he's only upstairs. I think. Around that area. It's what it seemed like. I guess we'll find out this time. But I did not hear that last window open. It's not for lack of listening. I can hear over myself talking. I think there might just be a bug or two. Might just be a bug or two. Bye bye. So. We're to believe he's some sort of were fox because he ain't no wolf. Um, does he have supernatural power? Okay, because I believe that these boxes are what keep these closed, right? So if that's the case, then he's managing to glitch them out from outside. We've got all this weird ventilation going on as well. I'm about to die. Yes. Effectively, yes. Oh, no. Don't do it. Good. There's no way to tell if that audio came from upstairs. That sounded like it was downstairs. It was, so my hunch was not correct. Go away, go away, go away. Do not come in here. Okay. I just want to get through the first set. The timer is stressing me out.
You wait, hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming and you're leaving. Get out. Leave. Do not come back. Do not. Do not. Okay. You know, there's like a window up above. I wouldn't mind if his eyes were there and you just see him out whenever he's gone instead of a whomp. Or both. We're at two minutes. Come on. Two minutes. Two minutes. That kind of sounded like it was upstairs. See, this whole audio thing, it doesn't work this way. Not really. I could, I could get it if it was like a big square on one level and you got to go around 99. Okay. Okay. Almost through phase one. I saw that one open. Get out of here. You lose. We can make it through the first night. It's not a night. It's not a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. But it is, it's in that vein, right? Survive a certain amount of time. One phase, two phase, so on and so forth. Through a number of buildings, I believe? I don't know. <sighs> Saw that one open, too. Oh, the light went out. Is that bad? Is the light supposed to go out? Is the light supposed to go out? There is such a glare in my glasses right now. The music's starting to sting. 20 seconds. Oh, the music's going to make this harder. Come on. Yes! Okay. I don't know if he could actually attack me there. I'm going to assume he could. M7. According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature. Thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same print was found as in the infamous archive. Apparently it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. Find apartment number 17. Oh wait, are we just into it? Oh, how quaint. There's... Things. Does this kick off another... segment? Oh, it does. How lovely. One, two, three. Buddy, can you hear me? I hope so. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. Can we do that little I radio? I have my own reasons for this. I really hope you have the envelope. Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the collection area. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry. He won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. The most important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. Okay. This can lead to sad consequences not only for you, but also for everyone around you. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. Who are you? You sound like a creepypasta narrator. 
You can find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. When you arrive train at your ticket. destination, I'll contact you again. From the table? Is that the next room? Oh. In here? What the... It'd help if this was in English so I could read it. Um... Mm -hmm. Fox creature, men in black. More of collars? Huh. Leanburg. All the data on this case was transferred to the collection area because of our incompetence in this matter. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Your task is to prevent the monster from entering the compartment. To do this, you need to carefully monitor the movement of the monster, close the door in time, exit the compartment in a timely manner. The compartment will need to enter highlighted, close the door to the exit of the compartment. You need to press the key that appears on screen. This is extremely important. Monitor the movement of the monster because otherwise they will not appear on your screen. We're on a train. The monster's on a train. Huh? Well, now that we know how to say it, it is Lean Boog, I'm going to leave this one here. So if you guys would like to see some more of Lean Boog, uh, send me your willpower so I could get through it. First of all, that is important. If I do it, you have to watch it. You are agreeing to that by liking this video. So if you like this video enough times, I'm not going to set a number, but if you like this video enough times, we'll see some more Lean Boog. And in the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you in whatever comes next. <laughs> Bye, guys.